Welcome back to the VST channel guys, the Xiaomi 15 Ultra, the Oppo Find X8 Ultra with all of camera comparisons and here this thing is the S25 Ultra. Now, I've learned that there is a new update for home app. So what do I do? I just go to Galaxy Store, hmm. Zoom More Place, not that, Theme Park, not bad but it's not that. Nice shot, definitely not it, and AliExpress, what the? So, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you two things. A very quick trick on how to sometimes expedite the updates that you are not apparently getting because it's all linked to where you are based, right? Which country, CSC, and other factors. So, let me show you. Right now, today, I do believe is the 13th of May. So, because Samsung is rolling out these updates, not everybody is getting them on, on the same day. What I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to head back to my settings where I've already opened date and time. Let's go and select the 16. Let's press down. All right, let's just try to close everything. Now I'm going to reopen Samsung Galaxy Store, cross the fingers, and what the heck is going on? You can see, yeah, I had four updates. Now I have eight updates. What? Yeah, it works. I don't know how. Uh, yeah, really Samsung rolling out different countries, a lot of phones, a lot of CSEs. Anyway, here is the new Samsung One UI Home update, but I have also others like an update to the Vice Care, the Avatar Data. I don't really care about this. Camera Assistant, guys. Yeah, this is not bad. Right now, apparently, One UI 7 or high I supported for A56, M56, and F56. What about the Device Care? So the version here is indeed from <laughs> what? It's so old and I never got it. Anyway, 13864. I'm gonna hit update here. Apparently there is no change lock. But what I'm all interested in is the Samsung One UI Home. Oh, it only has a rating of one. This is so not fair, guys. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. So the version is 160073 from 9 of May. Do we have a change lock? Yeah, not really. All right, nevertheless, guys, I'm going to update it. Another way, just to be sure, is go inside the settings and click about home screen. And you can see that currently I'm using the 02.1 version, so I can also update it from here. By the way, I tried also other dates. Didn't really work, so <laughs> I'm not sure why, but it worked when you do 16. I'm going to press update. Now I'm going to update it and just show you a bit of the animation. And this is going to be the wrap up for the video. So to maintain how to just somehow expedite the update and then second what about this new update is it gonna get any more fluid than it is already because I think right now One UI 7 on my S25 Ultra just performs the way it is all right guys now let's test it the latest version is installed and it's time for a quick test and now it's time to check the animations I'm gonna close everything let's first start with this one so fluid guys not a problem at all. What happens when I do this, but in the landscape mode? Yeah, actually very good. You know, this has been an issue since at least S21. This is good as well. Okay, the rotation and everything around this. Left, Google Home, not an issue at all. All right, left, right, I guess everything here standard. So what happens when I try to open an application? Open, all right, close, open, close, open, close. All right, Instagram, open. Instagram, yeah. All right, let's try to open this one here, guys. You see, with One UI 7, Samsung really are trying to step up their game. And I do believe that they actually managed. They're really very good right now. This is what we wanted all the way along. To have non-linear animations, to be able to start an animation and just, let's say, stop it exactly at the point you want. And with this right now, with the One UI 7 update, guys, and I have it on the S25 and 12 and 4 Ultra, it's very, very good, so I don't really have an issue with the animations. They were always good, guys. The only issue, remember, is with consistency. And also, a pro tip, if you have installed Home App, you can go crazy with the gesture setting and the home gesture animation tuning. There are really so many presets. Let me show you the standard Samsung classic animations. Like This is right now standard Samsung. And you can see this is, I mean, yeah, this wasn't possible so much back in the days when we had One UI 6. I guess at some point with One UI 6.1, it went better and 6.1.1. Right now, I think it's very, very fluid. And you can see I can do this all day long and I can even try to open and stop the animation in the same time. So this was the new home app update. I don't think anything. Fact. This was the new home app update. You learned that trick. If you like this video, guys, you might as well want to sub for the channel and check my previous videos. A lot of camera comparison and stuff, performance reviews, you name it. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.